too. The first time I recorded this, I didn't have any sound. So maybe it'll be better this time. All right. To I'm going to start with to delete a post so I can do it again. But right now, I'm on my actual blog on the web. So I'm going to go back to Seesaw, log myself in. Here I am. I'm logged in. And I'm going to delete that post because I don't need it. You'll notice you can do all kinds of things here for your post. I'm going to delete it because I don't need that. So what we're going to do is go over here to the right. You should have an area that looks just about like this. The journal is where you do all your editing. In other words, it's the draft spot. If you go over to the blog, if you don't see this, you don't have it turned on. So let me show you how to turn it on just in case. Go up to the wrench right up here. This is all my settings. I want to scroll down till I find blog and I want to turn it on so it should look like mine. Students can post to the blog. Then click on blog settings. The only thing here you need turned on is enable comments. If I scroll down a little for, go scroll back down again, the blog appearance, blog name should be your name. The blog URL is whatever you put in there. Look at that. There's my blog URL. It's always going to be the same. And then put a little description. For example, my journey to becoming a classroom teacher. And, <coughs> excuse me, I put a header in mine. I designed something to replace that boring blue bar. I suggest you replace it. Hit the back button. And... If I go to view blog, look at that. There's my same URL and I can go look at it from there. I don't have to go from there, but there's one way to do it. So I'm just going to cancel out of there, hit the X, come back over and I want to add something. I'm going to add this week's assignment, let's say. So I'm in my journal. I click the great, great big green circle with the plus sign post student work, and you'll have all these tools. You could actually take a picture um, right here inside. That's a little cumbersome to do from a laptop. It's easy to do from an iPad or a phone. You can draw. You can shoot video. Now, this one's easy to do from inside. I actually use this feature a lot. I usually am taking a picture with my phone, so I will upload it. Make sure when you take a picture, you've taken a good picture with good lighting and you've cropped it so you don't have a bunch of background. And make sure you've taken it right side up, not sideways, so that it shows up correctly in your blog. I'm going to go to notes because that's what we're going to add. Um, I'm going to add a note here. First thing I want to put, this is my title. And as you know, it always tells you what your title should title should be. Then I'm going to hit the return key twice and be, begin. Whoops, sorry, I can't type today. Typing my reflection and so on. Okay, you would have more than that. Obviously, you should proofread. I've got lots of typos in there. Begin typing your reflection. Begin typing your reflection, and so on. So we'll pretend I've typed a masterpiece there. I'm going to click the uh, check mark, and you'll notice I could actually add my voice to it, or I could go back in and edit it some more. It's a draft right now, so you have to click the check mark again. Then it wants to know to select students. I have several in mind because I demo things all the time. I just check all students, then I'm covered. Click the green check mark again. And now it's in my journal, but nobody can see it but me. So in your case, when it's in your journal, nobody can see it but you. To publish it to your blog, you have to click the little world sign. That only shows up when you have it turned on. You'll see this and you'll see this. That's your clue that you have your blog turned on. So I tap that button and it's pretty clear, publish to the blog. Bingo, I've published to my blog. Well, I want to make sure it's there. So I'm going to go over here and, yep, it's there. Well, I really want to double check that it's there. So I'm going to copy my URL from right there. I'm going to go up here and paste it in just to be sure it's on there. Yep, there it is. I'm good to go. 
So there's my blog. I'm ready to go. So I want to go back to my seesaw. Sorry about that. I went too far back. Um, and let's say I want to add a photo this time. Not sure why it logged me out, but it did. So I'm going to go back again. I'm going to get my plus sign. Let's say I want to add a photo this time. I click upload and I can drag a photo in from right here. Um, let me go get something to drag in here. I'm going to go to my desktop. Let's see. What do I have? Let me find something. Okay. Here's a picture. I'm just going to drag it in. Let's say that was part of my assignment. I'm good. Close my window. Notice it will let you select from Google Drive. Sorry, I have all kinds of windows open in the background. They always pop forward. It's in. Hit select. And hit select again. All students. And I'm good to go. To get it to show up on my actual blog, I probably am going to add a little comment in here. Um, my project from the assignment. You would put the name of the assignment in there. I don't have an assignment right now, so I'm just putting that in. Put something in there, say post. Then hit the little world, publish to the blog, go double check it. There we go. Take that URL right there and copy it. And that is what you're going to put in Canvas. That is what you will do every single time. Okay? Okay, that's a quickie on how to use Seesaw. Hope that helps.